Hello YouTube, it's me, Dan Harkins, and it's been a while. I have been under the weather, per se, uh, mainly getting tons of sore throats from sucking all these customers' dicks at work, and overall just being sick, and it's been like two weeks, and I don't really see it uh, stopping, so fuck it, I'm gonna make a commentary. Now, this uh, gameplay is a little bit different, because I'm just gonna aim down my sights a good portion of this match is just me aiming down and walking around. The idea came when I was just fucking bored and did not know what to do. And I was like, well, fuck it, Dan Harkins. Why don't you just go through the whole match just aiming down your guns? And that is exactly what I did. And it was kind of fun, I have to say. But I recently hit 10th Prestige. 10th uh, Prestige was the previous max prestige you can take. And I am done after I hit the 80th level in this prestige there's no 11th 12th there's I'm not going for the 15 fuck that shit I saw this game saying hey make it to 1080 and I'm done and then Infinity Ward's like hey Dan Harkins fuck you we added five more prestiges how's it feel dick face it doesn't feel too great I don't feel like I'm losing out on completion because obviously they could just keep adding as many prestiges as they want and I don't feel like going through the same shit over and over. I'd like to know that there is an ending for my prestiges. And that is when I start, you know, kind of having fun. I know it's really ridiculous. This game, I don't even have to prestige. I can just stay level 80 and, and just have fun. But for me, I like to go through those prestiges. It keeps up the, the game a little bit fresh for me. And overall... Uh, I like doing it. I do different challenges. I do different weapons each prestige. So each prestige is never like the previous There's always something new and black ops my second prestige was devoted to akimbo scorpions and god damn it Did I love those weapons and the scorpions this game fucking suck? They have like barely any ammo and they're just pieces of shit um, I still enjoy the scorpion, but nothing like the Black Ops Scorpions. One of my favorite weapons in any Call of Duty has been the Scorpion. And I was just so sad when I used those akimbo. And, you know, after killing like two people, I was out of ammo. Um, that just really kind of made me depressed. I didn't like it at all. That just sucked. But, you know, at 1080, uh, just going to be leveling up my shotguns. I've saved two prestige tokens. And I'm devoting those fuckers to the 1887 and the KSG. The other shotguns aren't as infuriating as those two fuck faces, and I'm gonna max those bitches out. So I had a goddamn plan. My plan for 10th Prestige was pretty much uh, get my Kimbo FMG 9s and use nothing but a Kimbo's all the way till I get the striker, and then use the striker all the way to 80. I'm using the most fucking bullshit overpowered weapons. Why? Because goddamn it. I earned the right to use some overpowered shit in this game. You guys know Dan Harkins doesn't spend a lot of matches using all the most super powerful weapons in this game. I like to experiment and pretty much get used to every single weapon. So if I ever run out of ammo and I pick up fucking the PM9 or some really shitty weapon, I don't feel like, oh crap, how is this weapon going to handle? No, I know how it's going to handle and I'm not surprised. I'm continuing playing the game and destroying people's faces. Now, I've done a lot of dumb shit. Usually when I hit 10, that's when I let my KD go up. Because, you know, I'm not fucking around. I'm going to town. I'm uh, taking names and uh, busting in doors and shooting people in the face. That's what I do when I hit the max prestige. No more fucking around with shit-ass weapons. I fuck with those my whole time all the way up to 10th. I'm not doing that. No more MP5. No more fucking CM901. It's an alright gun. But no more of that shit. No fucking more. God damn it. Got the MP7 to work on. Got the ACR that I want to use. And I uh, just want to rape. That's it. I said it. Call the cops. Tell them where I live. I'm going to rape people. God damn it. Not going to be nice about it. And I'm not letting them go talk to the cops. Because when I rape people, after I'm done, I clean up my mess. It's called getting a boat throwing them at the bottom of the lake and disappearing for a while that's kind of what I do that's the type of rape murder that Dan Harkins is about you guys know this it's a fucking fact no one gets away now 
I don't know how everyone else is handling their prestiges or what they're doing. Um, I've never been the person I'm like, oh, you didn't prestige, you're a bitch, or oh, you prestige. Listen, you guys paid for the game. Play it however you want. I will say this. I honestly don't see uh, a reason not to at least prestige like two times. You get two classes or you get um, two classes. Classes are great. Um, so that's something I think everyone should at least do. I don't see a reason to stopping at 80. And I wish um, in the Call of Duty Elite stats that I could compare the time kills, kill death ratio, all those stats with each prestige to see how I've improved from the beginning of the game uh, to the point that we're at now. To see, you know, what was my strongest run. Um, look at those weapons. Uh, look at how I played and just kind of compare it. I like comparing stats. I'm a stat whore. I don't want to be. Not going to fucking judge people. I'm not that type of guy. But, you know, I like to know for myself how I'm doing and how to better myself. Right now, I'm actually um, on this new path of something I never thought I'd, thought I'd ever walk on. And that's quick scoping and sniping. Uh, you guys know quick scoping is is very annoying, and it really frustrates people. And just from the very few games that I do quick scope on, and and not say I'm not some fucking master Call of Duty montage master, not even fucking close. I'm still trying to get a hang of it, but man, it really pisses people off. Um, you get a lot of hate mail, and these guys are sending hate mail to a guy that's going 10 and 15. That that's me. I I've gone 10 and 15. Uh, 8 and 25. Uh, yeah, it's embarrassing, but I didn't expect to do fucking super duper elite. Not, no, it's not my thing. It's something I want to learn about quick scoping to integrate into my actual sniping. I want to quote unquote hard scope, uh, take control of an area, but when I'm moving and, and if someone's coming up in close quarter combat, um, I want to have that quick scoping as a backup to deal with that enemy. So it's really just a skill that I want to add to my arsenal as sniping to really make me overall efficient. Uh, to do that, I really have to nail down uh, the timing for quick scoping, uh, drag scoping, all those skills I really want to take in to make myself a better player. And a lot of people say, oh, quick scoping and all that shit doesn't take skill. It doesn't take a lot of skill, I will say that. Um, it just takes a lot of, I don't know, just understanding how it's supposed to go. I really just watched YouTube uh, tutorials and read it and you know I was nailing 8 out of 10 shots uh, every game so it's not super hard all you gotta do is just learn it but I still have a long way to go um, and it is a skill in the sense that it's not something easily obtainable um, per se it's not something you just go off and you just go 25 and 3 but once you really got down the timing, I think it's a really great skill that everyone should at least learn um, for those engagements where they just come out of nowhere and, you know, you don't have fucking time to switch your secondary and fuck it. You just want to have that accuracy, that accurate shot to take out the enemy. That's just how I feel and that's kind of why I'm doing it and I'm fucking bored. So I'm looking to have some fun. So, you know, just stuff to look forward to. Well, this game is coming up to an end. You know, I'm done playing uh, first-run shooters. I think it's time to play RPGs.